Hello, uh, welcome to the uh, second video in our three-part video series that shows you how to install products on clients using the Opsi Win scripts. In the first part of the video, we uh, chose our product, which is uh, in this case uh, Notepad++. And we also copied, we set up a environment for our product, and we also uh, copied the template Opsi uh, with scripts into our client data directory. In the second part of the video, we're going to edit those uh, template Opsi um, with scripts and make them specific for Notepad++. So the first thing I'm going to do is edit those scripts. And uh, to edit those scripts, I'm going to use a program called JEdit. Now, if I take JEdit and make a connection to my server, uh, Opsi server, then I go to home, Opsi products, and then I scroll down to our product, which in this case is Notepad PP, and select Notepad PP, and then select the subdirectory client data. We can see here our scripts. Now, if we select the first script, let's select a set of 32. <clears throat> now, the uh, upside wins scripts have uh, two sections, primary sections and secondary sections. Uh, the primary sections have actions and also variable definitions. The secondary sections have uh, the definitions of the actions that we're going to be taking. Now, to define any user variables, we can see here that we use the uh, command def var and then the name of the variable is surrounded with dollar signs. And we can define variables here like uh, you know, the installation directory, the minimum space. Now, to set a value of one of these variables, we see use the command set the user defined variable name equals and, and then the string system drive in this case slash temp. Now, in this case, we're setting the log directly equal to the, to the system drive slash temp. Now, any variables that are in percentage signs are defined in the offside, predefined in the offside win scripts. For example, system drive uh, with percent signs around it evaluates to uh, C colon slash. And so let's go here and go down and look at um, some of the uh, sections here. Let's look at the script. The, the template says, please edit the following values. So in this case, for product ID, we're going to enter notepad pp. And for minimum space, we're going to enter, uh, let's say, 25 megabytes. <clears throat> now, for the installation directory, I know it's going to be in C colon uh, program slash uh, program space file slash notepad plus plus. So let's go ahead and edit that value now. Plus. And license required, let's set that to false. And license pool information, we don't need to really worry about that either. There is no licensing to worry about for Notepad++. Now, the first thing we do in this section is check if there's enough minimum space available on the client computer. So we call the, we call has minimum space here, and we give it as an argument to the system drive, which in this case will evaluate to uh, C colon slash. And we give it the user defined variable, which we've set to uh, minimum space to be to 25 megabytes. Now, if there is not enough space, <clears throat> a message is formed that says, uh, uh, it's a string message that says not enough space on the system drive. Then we add to the string our minimum space that we've set, which in this case is 25 megabytes. And then we include on the end of our message a product ID. Now, this uh, message will be sent to the log in the form of an error. So we can see this in the log files later on from the Opsi server. And then we call is fatal error. When is fatal error is called inside an Opsi Win script, the script stops and a message is sent to the server saying that the installation failed. And you can see this failed state in the Opsi config uh, editor and, uh, and interface. <laughs> now, if we do have enough space on the drive, then we uh, can first start the uninstallation and the installation of the script. So for setup32, the first thing it does is show a bitmap. This is going to show the logo that we copied from the temp directory to our client data directory. 
in the uh, first video. And so all of our files are located in uh, percent sign uh, script path and then slash the name of this file, which in this case is the product ID uh, .png. And this message will be shown to the user. Then we check if the file exists, if, if our uh, server has a del sub 32.ins. And if it does exist, we go ahead and call this. The del sub 32.ins, which we'll look at in a few minutes, is the uninstallation software. And so first, it, with this block of code, we are uninstalling the software. And once that is finished, we send a message to the user with this message command saying we are installing this product ID, which in this case is Notepad++. And then if there's any licensing required, we <clears throat> call the subsection get license key. Now there's no licensing required for Notepad++, so I'm going to just remove this unused code. And then you can see here there's a comment that says start setup program. And the uh, setup program will and change directory to the script path. It will call win batch install and it will call sub check exit code. Now any sections that start with uh, win batch are sections that are just going to call the uh, Windows executable. In this case, it's going to be uh, notepad 6.1.6 installer.exe. And we'll take a look at that later. Now you can also do things with offside win scripts such as copying files with any sort of files underscore section. And you can also patch the registry with any section that is registry underscore install. And you can also create shortcuts and uh, link folders, but we're not going to do any of that for uh, Notepad++. It's really simple. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, WinBatch install. You can see here, this is the definition of the WinBatch install section because there are square brackets surrounding WinBatch install. And you can see here, commented examples of uh, WinBatch install calls to the setup programs. Now let's just go down here to this last one and uncomment it and change the setup program to be specific for Notepad++, which we saw in the first video is Notepad NPP.6.1.6 uh, installer.exe. And you have options here. You can say, for example, you don't want the system to restart, so no restart. You can suppress message boxes. Let's just set this to a simple silent install for Notepad++. And now we can get rid of a few of these unused sections. We're not calling files install, so let's go ahead and delete that. And let's get rid of a registry install where we uh, fix registry keys. You can take a look at these uh, templates later on your own spare time or ask us if you have any questions. Let's get rid of the link folder install. And we also don't need to get any license keys from the server, so let's get rid of that section. Now we are going to check the exit code, so let us leave that definition in there. Now the sub check exit code section, the first thing it's going to do is set the value of the variable exit code equal to the call to get last exit code, which is the exit code of the installation program in this case. And if the exit code is equal to zero, a comment will be sent to the log file that says, looks good, setup program gives exit code zero. If it's non-zero, it looks for these three well-known exit codes and gives comments in the log file. And if it is non-zero exit code and we don't know what exit code it is, we send a message to the log file as a log error. We give the exit code and then we call is fatal error. And that is the all we need to do for our setup 32.in script. Let's take a look at the uninstall script. Remember, the uninstall script is pretty easy in this case because it's just going to call the uninstallation. Let's go down here and set the product ID equal to uh, notes add PD. Let us set the installation directory equal to uh, note pad plus. Let's leave licensing required is false. We're going to show the bitmap. We're going to message the user that we're installing it. And if the file exists in our script's location that has del sub32, we just call del sub 32in script. No licensing is required, so let's get rid of this unused code. And we also don't call sub free license, so let's get rid of this unused code. And that's it for the uninstall 32 script. And at last, we have to edit the uh, del sub 32.in script. And this is the program that actually does the uninstallation. So we need to set the uninstall program variable equal to the installation directory slash uninstall.exe. Uh, the notepad plus plus uninstaller is called uh, install.exe, and you might have to change this value depending on your program. And the first thing this thing uh, code, uh, this script does is uh, messages the user saying the installation is taking place. 
then it tests if the uninstall script exists. If it does, it calls when batch uninstall and it checks the exit code. Now we don't need to worry about the registry. We didn't copy any files. We don't need to delete any files. We don't need to clean the registry and we don't need to remove any link folders since we didn't create any. Here's our win batch uninstall section uh, definition. Let's go ahead and comment out this uninstall program. Make it a simple silent installation. We can get rid of the uh, Windows MSI installer section. We can get rid of the files uninstall, remove the registry uninstall, remove the link folder uninstall, and we will leave the subcheck exit code as is. And that concludes this uh, second video where we have uh, made our scripts uh, specific for Notepad++ and in the third of part of this video series we will test the scripts on our client and integrate them into our server. So thank you very much and see the third uh, part of this video series.